Hi you guys, welcome back to another vlog. If you're new here, my name is Avery. I'm a content creator living in New York. Um, don't forget to subscribe if you're new. But welcome back to another vlog. I think this is just gonna be a little mini weekend, cozy weekend vibe vlog. Um, it is Saturday morning or afternoon actually, it's like two o'clock already. Um, last night I just stayed in with my roommate and we actually watched Don't Worry Darling, which is on HBO Max with Harry Styles. Um, and Florence Pugh, I think is her name. This is the weirdest movie like I've watched in a very long time. Honestly, it kind of gave me like Inception vibes. It was just like very like mind, mind like tricking, whatever. I don't know, just weird, but I mean, it was good. I'm glad I like, I can say I've watched it, but I don't know that I'll be watching that for a second time anytime soon. Um, she wasn't really my vibe of the movie, but anyways, this morning it is literally like 11 degrees out. So I woke up, made breakfast, and then went to a bar class at 11 a.m., which I literally almost like passed away in. I don't know why, but today it was just so hard. Um, and then I had like a little self-care moment at the gym. I went in the hot tub there, which I haven't done yet. I belonged there for like a month, um, but it felt really good to do with like my muscles being so sore. So I, w I read my Kindle in the hot tub, and then I did the sauna for a little bit, and then the steam room, and then I showered there. So it's a nice little like, self-care gym moment and then I went to Whole Foods so leading into I thought I would do a little Whole Foods haul um but yeah kind of just hanging out the rest of the day because it's literally so cold out I might go get drinks with friends later like a drink but I don't know you guys it's just so cold that like I'm I just don't even want to do anything and next week at work is going to be insane for me so and then we're having like a Valentine's Day themed party coming up I don't know just like the Super Bowl is coming up which the Chiefs are in so like a lot going on the next like 10 days so I feel like this weekend I should just chill out but yeah anyways let's get into the whole food salt so this is my favorite milk that I've been getting it doesn't have any like bad ingredients only has five ingredients in it doesn't have any like gums or fillers um which can upset your stomach and like lead to inflammation and things like that so the brand's called milk um and I got the chocolate flavor but I also have the vanilla one in the fridge right now but I really like the chocolate for like cereal or I'm gonna make like chocolate overnight oats maybe with it so yeah very very good then this is also my recent favorite yogurt I'm pretty sure I showed this one it's the cocoa yo one and vanilla I also love the raspberry though it's made from coconuts um got some of my favorite bars Lara bars I wanted to try Evolved Dark Chocolate. This is just like a dark chocolate bar for when I have a sweet tooth. I like have to have something sweet after dinner every night. Also been loving Mush Overnight Oats. These are super easy to take into the office with me. And my favorite flavor is peanut butter. Oh, then I obviously, I obviously had like a sweet tooth. I got Sweet Lorenz cookie dough. I've been wanting to try these for actually like a year now and I never have and I got them and just figured why not. Um, we don't have a stove in this apartment so I can just gonna pop like one individually into the air fryer or something and have it like that. Um, but honestly for a cookie, they're like not that bad for you. So yeah. Um, then like I said, next week's gonna be crazy. So like, I just got this microwave meal, Amy's vegetable lasagna. I got dozen eggs, an avocado, a Japanese sweet potato. This is like purple sweet potatoes. And then for dinner tonight or like lunch or something, I was thinking of doing like a shrimp Caesar salad. So I just got two Caesar salad kits and some frozen shrimp. And then I also got um, grapes and strawberries that I didn't show. So yeah, that is the haul. Okay, I'm actually also about to take all my supplements this morning. So I thought I would do a little breakdown of what I've been taking. Um, yeah. First up, my magnesium citrate. This helps you go to the bathroom if you can't go. There's different kinds of magnesium that you can take, but this one is magnesium citrate and yeah, it's highly absorbable. So it'll make you go to the bathroom if you need to go. So sometimes I'll take that at night if you know I need to. And then I got this Berberine Plus. I've just been trying these. I got them off Amazon. Um, this is supposed to help with like cardiovascular health um gastrointestinal function and heart function so i just saw someone on tiktok talk about them so i was like why not try it um i take digestive enzymes sometimes if i need to with meals um myo and d chiro and acetol um i have this in pill form but then i also have it in the powder form and i take this one to two times a day um and it helps support like hormone health it promotes insulin sensitivity 
and healthy over and over ovarian function god i can't speak and egg quality um and this was recommended to me by my dietitian um and my OBGYN for pcos then i take vitamin d and vitamin c every day uh, i've also been taking a b complex this is from the brand pure got it off amazon just supposed to help with energy um and yeah and then I've also been taking a probiotic. I used to take seed probiotics, which I still really like, but I took them for like three years straight. And my dietitian mentioned that like your gut biome can get used to the probiotics you're taking. So it's good to switch them up. So she recommended this one, just the Garden of Life Raw Probiotics from Amazon. And I'm actually, I only have one left. So I need to order more of these. Then, oh, I need to take this too. I have been taking L-glutamine the thousand milligram one. This one's supposed to promote healthy muscle mass and support GI health and immune function. Um, so I like to take it like right after I work out or I try to. And then last but not least, I've been taking, this is gonna sound gross, but I got these off Amazon. They're called grass-fed beef, beef liver pills. Um, they're pasture raised and like grass-fed, don't have any like hormones, pesticides or GMO. So they're like good, they're like good, quality or whatever i literally can't talk today i've seen so so many people talk about these and like how much energy they give it gives them and just all the benefits this is only the second month i've been using them like consistently so i still want to see if i like see a difference or not but i've just heard such great things that i'm like i feel like i need to um keep taking them to see and also i've just like heard on podcasts like the skin confidential so many people have talked about the benefits of eating liver like animal liver and beef liver so i'm obviously not going to do that but i can take them in pill form so yeah that is all the supplements i've been taking this year i really really want to get into feeling my best i feel like over the past like honestly over six months now i just have not been feeling good and i like wanted to make a promise to myself in the new year to just like try to feel my best and so that i can like look my best and just like feel confident so yeah slowly but surely getting there good morning you guys happy sunday this lighting is terrible um and i look so tired but i didn't vlog the rest much yesterday i literally just stayed in like organized went through more clothes um put them on poshmark which i'll put my poshmark link below if you ever want to shop my closet i'm always adding new stuff there but yeah then i just like made a quick dinner and I ended up going to get drinks with my friend Sammy who I met through Instagram and like her boyfriend, one of her friends, her roommate and we went to this new, sorry it's probably so loud, we went to this new cocktail bar called Beyond the Pale that is in Soho that actually just opened up but it was really fun. I didn't stay out that late, I got home like midnight and now it's like 10am and I'm running late for a Pilates class. I'm going to natural Pilates in Soho um they invited me in to take a class so we're gonna go do that and then I don't really know what else is on the agenda for the Sunday but we'll see I'm also like so out of breath because I'm busting to get this up in time okay we're back fun little story time I had to transfer to like, get there and I was already running late and the next train wasn't coming for like 13 minutes or something. So I am the worst and just another downtown train was coming the way I so, like getting on the way I came from. And sorry, I don't have words today. Um, anyways, I could have hopped on a train coming back the way that I came from and I did. So skipping my Pilates class got a blank street iced latte with hazelnut and skim milk it's the best and then I went on to my gym app and booked an 11 o'clock hot uh, Matt Pilates class there now it's like 10 30 um, so I'm just going to walk straight to the gym instead of going home first and just chill like I might do the sauna or something for a second before my class starts and do that instead so you know what? It's fine. We all have loses, losses. I'm like really out of it today. All I had was like two drinks last night. I had two drinks in a shot, but it still gets to me. Um, but yeah, and then my study abroad friend has actually just texting her. She's in New York for the month. Um, and we've been like 
that we've been putting off meeting up for a while, so I might meet up with her today, potentially. So I am starting to highly regret getting an iced coffee because my hand is literally about to freeze off, but I just really wanted iced coffee. Something about it, just like, it's more refreshing, I feel like. I'm back. Um, it is like 2 p.m. now. I went to Whole Foods, grabbed some quick groceries, like really small stuff I needed for the week. And then I went back, I got ready really quick. I'm actually on my way to meet up with my roommate from when I studied abroad my junior year of college. I've actually not seen her in like since we studied abroad in college, like five years or something. She's from Seattle and she's only here for the month. Um, I think her job's remote and she just like rented an airbnb for a month or something so i'm like two minutes away from the place she's staying at and no lita which i love it over here I used to live over here um so yeah we're gonna try to get into her beef for lunch when i when we get our food i'm taking <laughs> guys happy monday i look like a hot mess because i just got back from hot pilates and then i did um like 15 minutes in the sauna or whatever but i've really been enjoying doing these classes at my gym i've been doing like hot pilates i did a hot yoga class on friday and then i've been doing bar which bar like actually kicks my butt like on saturday i did a bar class and it was so hard I like had to sit down for like 10 minutes afterwards because I was like oh my god I feel like lightheaded had to get some food stat but I don't know I feel like I'm definitely starting to feel like a lot stronger and just like better going to classes and obviously like on the other days maybe I'll just do like strength training or something but it's kind of nice to like feel like I'm like really into a workout and I feel like I've been working out every day just because I've been like liking it so much and then like I'll walk on days that I like, take rest days or something but yeah, I don't know, she's been really nice, and hot pause this morning was very chill workout for sure, like slower, which I feel like I needed on a Monday morning because this week is about to be crazy. It's basically like our fashion week this week, um, so we'll go to vendor meetings, client meetings, and we'll see all of their fall 23 shoe lines um, because I buy men's shoes, um, so yeah, it's just going to be a very insane week, plus we just have like a lot of other projects and side things going on, so Anyways, it's 8.30 right now. I'm logging on to work right now. I might hop in the shower really quick because I'm super sweaty. Um, but I should need to run a few reports first before I do that. Um, and then, yeah, just have a nice little Monday. But honestly, like, waking up in the morning and having, like, a slow, like, nice Pilates class like that, I just feel like makes me feel so much more ready to, like, tackle the week. And then I also booked a hot yoga class for Friday morning because I feel like that'll be a nice way to just, like, end and, like, detox the week. But I just feel, like, so, like, less stressed. My cortisol levels, which is, like, your stress hormone, like, that's not raised. And, yeah, I don't know. I just feel like it puts me in a lot better of a headspace for the week. So I'm happy about that, even though it's going to be a nutso week. But, you know, it's going to be fine. Um and yeah i think i'll take you guys along this week a little bit i have an event on wednesday night that i definitely wanted to do vlog a little bit for so we'll do that but um 
Yeah. Okay, I don't know if I told you guys about my dry skin hack, but basically I learned this from an interview with Kylie Jenner and Khloe Kardashian, but they, like, after getting out of the shower before drying off with a towel, they use body oil and just like put it all over their skin while the, their skin's like still wet and they let the oil soak in so like right now my skin is still soaking wet but I just put the oil on um I got this one from Amazon super cheap huge bottle just jojoba oil but you can do like any oil basically you can do like like a nicer body oil I was using Necessaire's body oil which I really love but ran out of it so yeah I'm doing this and it really really helps with your skin feeling dry and like honestly makes my skin feel like so silky smooth okay you guys coffee is a brewing um but we have been using this caramel one from whole foods really really good i feel like i've been really into a flavored ground coffee recently so if you guys have any racks let me know but this one's good also though if you guys have never gotten the like peanut butter or almond butter that you can um like grind yourself at whole foods that you're seriously missing out definitely get it it comes in these little tubs and it's just a machine it's not in all of whole all whole foods but they're in a lot of them so you guys should definitely try it okay however we all know before coffee you have to eat so i made overnight oats last night um i'm really excited to try them because i just did oats and then i did chocolate milk with this like um milk i've been using and then just some cacao powder and chia seeds so i feel like they're gonna turn out really good um that is what they look like and then i'm just gonna chop up a banana and put some almond butter or not almond butter peanut butter on top and then once i eat that i'll have my coffee and we are ready to get the day started and this is what the finished product looks like i'm so excited i'm starting some oats together they're actually so good like i'll be making these a lot i think the key is the chocolate milk part so i used the brand milk which is like a um healthier brand of milk i think i've talked about on here during my whole foods haul but anyways yeah you guys should definitely try but use chocolate milk as like your milk in the overnight okay. happy monday night um just got off work it was a long day then i walked on the treadmill for like 30 minutes just to get some movement in and i just made dinner but i'm gonna show you i just made a caesar salad i used a caesar salad kit from whole foods and then just did grilled shrimp in it and it's been like my hyper fixation meal lately I had like the past three nights in a row but i don't know i just like have not been like things have not been like tasting good or like sounding good like that i used to make all the time i used to always make like salmon rice and a veggie or like tilapia rice and a veggie honestly for dinner and it just like has not been sounding good but i want to get back to that because i feel like that's like the healthier option compared to this obviously but i'm just gonna eat what sounds good and this is what sounds good so um yeah i'm gonna sit down eat this and then watch the next episode of love island if you guys don't watch season nine just came out and the latest episode just came out so i'm all up to date comment and let me know if you guys are watching i'm obsessed with that show i don't even like like reality um love shows or whatever like i don't watch the bachelor but i love love island but only the uk version so it's on Hulu. okay so this might be tmi but i am well actually i feel like it's not tmi we're all friends here I um, just got my period today for the first time. Um, not the first time I got it last month, but anyways, yeah, it is just I'm I'm struggling a little bit, and I've had to, like cramps all day. I'm just like not used to feeling how shitty you feel when you have your period, which like not complaining. Everyone feels this way, but all I want to do is like eat chocolate and lay in bed, which I just ate some chocolate for dessert, but I'm like starving, like I'm ravenous. I feel like. And I hate that feeling like the first few days you're on your period. Um, but honestly, it's like 7 o'clock. I might just like get ready for bed and lay in bed because I'm just so tired and like blech feeling. So I think though that I'm going to end off the vlog here unless I take some um, content on the event. At the event I'm going to on Wednesday, I'll add that in. But if not, thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time.